how does the universe work? What is our place in the universe? Is there a life after death? These are the essential questions to defining humanity's existence. The most important questions mankind has been asking itself from times immemorial. Before we were smart enough to write, we pondered about the stars and the heavenly bodies. We tried to understand the meaning of life and death. Humanity imagined gods and myths all in an attempt to explain the mysteries of life. Those legends became part of cultures all around the world, as well as changed and evolved throughout time. One last important question needs an answer once and for all. Is there a creator? If we could answer those four questions, we can finally understand our place among the stars. This documentary will answer these important questions. How does the universe work? Human beings as a species have achieved some pretty miraculous things, thanks to our intelligence and inquisitive nature. We have made major breakthroughs in understanding the universe thanks to the Renaissance and the scientific revolution. We know the universe began as a tiny speck. This means that tiny speck held all the energy and matter that exists today, because matter and energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It held the entire universe. This speck violently exploded and sent the energy and matter in every direction, in what has been dubbed the Big Bang. This explosion is continuing to this very day. We are still traveling away from the epicenter that was the genesis to our universe. Everything that makes up the universe is drifting farther and farther apart in the cosmic sea. But this cannot go on forever, and we will eventually end up where it all began. The Big Crunch is the inevitable end to our universe. At the end of the Big Bang, the process will reverse itself, and the matter and energy will start collapsing back into that tiny speck. If we made a timeline of the life cycle of the universe, keeping these facts in mind, it would go like this. The universe is a speck of matter and energy. That speck explodes and sends the matter and energy out. Our galaxy forms. Our solar system forms. Our planet forms. Life begins. Humanity is born. You are born. You die. Humanity dies. Life dies. The universe collapses back into a tiny speck. So the universe has a set beginning and end. This is how science understands the universe today. But this understanding leaves us with more questions than answers. What happens when the Big Crunch is over? Did the Big Bang just suddenly happen out of nowhere? Einstein spoke of the relativity of time. Before the Big Bang, time did not exist. The nature of time is that it is not a constant. If we apply this knowledge to our current timeline of the universe with a set beginning and end, this does not fit into our linear model because our timeline requires time to be constant and to flow in one direction, forward. The multiverse theory says that there are an infinite amount of universes that are parallel to ours. These realities are different from ours, some a little bit, some completely different. They are, however, parallel. We cannot interact with them in any way, and they cannot interact with us. There is no room in our linear timeline with a set beginning and end for universes that are parallel to ours. This understanding of how the universe works cannot therefore be completely correct. Parts of it seem to make sense, but we are missing the full picture. To understand what happens after the big crunch, we must examine what remains. The speck of energy and matter that is together again. Everything that made the unfathomably gigantic universe where we and everything we know exists compressed into a tiny coin. We know from our own universe and its genesis that a compressed speck of matter and energy will explode and lead to a universe that will expand and then collapse. So as the big crunch ends our universe, the speck it creates will begin a new universe, a new universe parallel to ours. The Big Crunch is the process the universe resets itself with, and each reset separates that universe from all universes that came before and that will come in the future. Like if we had a bag of different marbles and threw the marbles on the floor, collected every marble back into the bag and emptied it out again. Each time the marbles fall on the floor, they would land in different places. Just like after every Big Bang, the universe will come out differently. 
Now the timeline starts with a speck of compressed matter and energy, followed by the Big Bang and the expansion, then a big crunch. Back to the speck of compressed matter and energy. The whole process then repeats itself like it has been repeating eternally. Thus, an infinite amount of universes came from the same matter and energy that makes up our own, and an infinite amount of universes will come after ours is gone. So this is no longer the timeline of our universe, but of our multiverse. This is already an incredible insight into the nature of existence, but it is still not the full picture. There are constants across the entire multiverse. The matter and energy remain constant. They expand and contract like the pulse of the cosmos, but are never created nor destroyed. If we could hypothetically repeat the experiment with emptying the bag of marbles on the floor endlessly, one truth becomes apparent. It is inevitable that one day the pattern will repeat. Given an infinite amount of tries, all the marbles will land the same way as they have previously. The content of our universe is unfathomably more complex than a bag of marbles, but given enough tries and it will repeat the pattern. This means that after a certain amount of resets, the multiverse will repeat itself. After every single possible layout of a universe takes place, universes identical to those that have taken place will reoccur. The multiverse thus loops in an endless cycle of expanding and collapsing universes. This means that this very moment in time had taken place an infinite amount of times already and will come an infinite amount of times again since the cycles repeat. Nothing ever really changes. This means both time and movement are an illusion. The multiverse is predetermined and predestined to unfold the same way each time due to the fact that it is a closed system that is unchanging and eternal. Is there life after death? Now that we understand how the universe works, we can conclusively say that yes, there is in fact life after death. Every moment that has happened will happen again and has happened before. We will all live our exact same lives again like we have lived them before and are living them now. What is our place in the universe? If we close our eyes and try to imagine what it was like for us before we were born, absolutely nothing will come to mind. That part of our existence is blank to our consciousness, like it never took place. Due to this observation, we can conclude that we can only perceive time while we are alive. Thus, as soon as our consciousness dies, it will reset in what seems like an instant and you will be thrust into the world again. You will be born again to relive your entire life again and experience everything you have experienced again. This is our own unique loop of consciousness inside the grand loop of the multiverse. We are thus reliving our lives over and over again without any recollection that we have done it all before. That is until now, this very second, the moment in your life that you came to understand the true nature of reality. At this point in your existence, you became aware of being part of your own personal loop of consciousness inside the unchanging, eternal multiverse. During your life, you stumbled upon this video and learned your place in eternity. You now understand that you have seen this video an infinite amount of times before and will see it an infinite amount of times again as you continue going around your loop. I'm sure that now you're asking, how does it help being aware of your presence inside the loop if everything you have done is already predestined and unchanging? The answer is it helps due to the fact that you were predestined to be aware. Your life is like a POV movie that plays out in front of you, where you are the main character and the settings on the video player are on loop. As soon as the movie ends, it begins again. Like any movie, the script has already been written and the scenes have already been shot. It cannot be changed and will play out the same way every time. However, the movie still makes sense. It is not simply random. One scene follows the next based on cause and effect. The fact that you watch this video and learn the true nature of reality will affect the way your life unfolds from here on out. You will use the information that you learned here like you are predestined to do. You now know the immense weight of your every action and your every moment because they will all repeat infinitely 
and thus how you live your life will be impacted by this fact and you will strive to make the most of your experiences for the rest of your life so that you can enjoy them throughout eternity. You can actively remove any negatives in your loop and work towards a pleasant and a fulfilling loop. What you will do from here on out had already come to pass, but as you make it come to pass again, it will unfold like a brand new adventure to you. Is there a creator? No, there is no creator. The multiverse loop is a closed system that is eternal and unchanging. There's absolutely no place for a creator in it. However, each one of us is an internal, unchanging stream of consciousness inside the grand loop of the multiverse. And thus we're all gods as we are immortal and one with the cosmos. What's the next step? Share this video with your friends and family so that they can learn how the universe works and what their place in the universe is. The more of humanity that is aware of the loop, the more tools people have to make the best loop possible for them. If this knowledge is to remain hidden away by the elites like it has for a millennia, people who know will continue exploiting the lives of those who don't. This cycle must end. We should all know our place among the stars. We all deserve to pursue a happy eternity. Share this video with everyone you know, and together we can make the best eternity possible. If you would like to improve my eternal loop, feel free to support me on Patreon. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming documentaries.